November is here, it is officially time to start planning out our Thanksgiving meals. One of my favorite things to do on Thanksgiving is plan a couple recipes in my slow cooker. That way I can just throw those in there, not worry about those while I'm working on everything else, and it frees up a little bit of oven space. So today I'm bringing you three slow cooker Thanksgiving side dishes. Hey y'all, I'm Jennifer and welcome back to my kitchen. So in today's video, that's what we're gonna be working on today. I have three super easy slow cooker Thanksgiving side dishes. Like I said in the intro, I always have some sort of side dish in the slow cooker. It just makes things that much easier on me on the big Thanksgiving day to know something's in there cooking away and it'll be warm when everything else comes out of the oven. So I wanted to share some of my favorite recipes with y'all. All right, it would not be Thanksgiving in my house if we did not have crock pot mac and cheese. Honestly, you could take the turkey and everything else and just leave me with mac and cheese. Happy Thanksgiving to me. <laughs> All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna boil three cups of macaroni noodles, elbow noodles, until they are al dente. I like to do them a little less than al dente because we are gonna be cooking these longer. And we're just gonna put those into the crock pot when they're almost al dente. So we have our cooked elbow noodles in our slow cooker. Next, we're gonna add 16 ounces of Velveeta. I don't mind using the 2% milk. I think it turns out just the same. Next, we're gonna add two cups of Mexican cheese blend. We're also gonna add one and a half cups of sharp cheddar cheese. This is gonna be some cheesy mac and cheese. Next, we're gonna add one and three fourths cup of 2% milk, or you can use whole milk or even 1%. I wouldn't go any lower than that though. We're also gonna add one can of evaporated milk. Next, we're gonna add half a cup of melted butter or one stick. Next, we're gonna add two beaten eggs. And this may be a southern thing. Let me know in the comments if you've ever added eggs to your mac and cheese before. We're gonna add half a teaspoon of black pepper and then just a fourth a teaspoon of salt. All right, I'm gonna mix everything together really well. And this is gonna cook on low. We're gonna start with two and a half hours and it may need to go for 30 more minutes on low. Did I say on low? And this is gonna be some super creamy and cheesy mac and cheese. I promise you will not have any complaints with this. And the best part is you didn't have to heat up your oven and it will stay nice and warm until your rest of your dinner is ready. With this mac and cheese, I think it's best to just kind of turn it on low for a few hours, let it go without touching or stirring it, and when the middle is set up and not liquidy, you know it's done. And just look at how cheesy and creamy this comes out. Do you call it dressing or stuffing? This is a super, super easy version. Again, only takes 10 minutes to throw together. Throw it in your slow cooker and you are good to go. I do have a traditional Southern dressing recipe here on my channel. I will link it here. I think it's this side. I will link it here and also down in the description box if you wanna check out the traditional Southern dressing recipe. But anyways, let's get into this easy slow cooker version. So this recipe does have a tiny bit of prep work, but you can definitely do this the night or earlier in the day beforehand. So you wanna buy a loaf of French bread, cube that into one inch little cubes, and you're gonna dry this in the oven at 300 degrees for about 15 to 25 minutes. In a pan, we're gonna melt one stick of butter, we're gonna add one chopped onion and about a cup of chopped celery. 
and we're also going to add some seasonings here in a second and we're going to let this cook just until the veggies are soft. We're going to add one and a half teaspoons of poultry seasoning, about a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. To a large bowl with all of our bread cubes, we're going to just pour that butter and veggie mixture right over top of that. And then next we're going to start adding our chicken broth. I always start with two cups and then go from there. You just want to add enough until everything is moistened. You don't want to add too much. I ended up using about three and a half cups, maybe a little bit more of chicken broth. Lastly, we're going to add one egg and then we're just going to mix everything together. This is going to go right into a greased slow cooker on high for the first 30 minutes and then three or four hours on low until everything is hot and cooked through. Like I said, this is a different take on dressing, a little bit lighter and fluffier than the southern cornbread dressing that we normally make. Next up, we have another family favorite, corn casserole. To make this, we're just gonna start with one can of corn, also one can of creamed corn. Then we're gonna need one box of Jiffy corn muffin mix. I have shared a similar recipe before. Comment down below if you know our unofficial name for this recipe. We're also gonna add one cup of sour cream. 1 4th cup of melted butter. Next we have a little twist on the original recipe I shared. We're going to add 1 cup of Colby Monterey Jack cheese blend. Lastly we're just going to add 1 egg and we're just going to give everything a mix. So what are you guys doing this year for 2020 Thanksgiving? I know it can look a little different for a lot of us. Our family is pretty small anyway. There's only about eight or nine of us that come. So we will just continue to be careful and we might set up our meal outside this year. Next, we're just going to place everything into our greased slow cooker. And this recipe that I'm going to link says to cook on high. My slow cooker cooks cooks really hot so I like to do it on low for about three hours just until that middle again is set up. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know down below, what is your must-have Thanksgiving side dish? Mac and cheese, dressing, I kinda like it all. I'm here for the side dishes. Let me know down below which one is your favorite. I hope that you'll give some of these recipes a try, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.